Hi right, guys, morning. Uh, it's Thursday, Thursday morning. We've uh, we went out all day yesterday, so I haven't been up here. The last time I was up here was Tuesday, I think, and I didn't make a video or anything. But you look at them romanticals, guys. They're absolutely cracking along better than anything else. Look like we're getting something having a nibble in this up this end here. We wouldn't have thought that had been a pigeon because it's a bit naughty for them to come in there. But even with spokes down the other end, they're close together, but I'm going to stake them and keep them tight. I'm, I'm well, that's all that chicken poo in there. Right, the other day I was here, we were forecast heavy rain. Was, tomorrow was supposed to be a washout in this coast. So I stuck four rolls of onions in here yesterday. So I need to rain. There's lettuce under there, Lola Wasser. This lot here, well, I'm afraid it's supposed to be sweet under there. You can see some, they're probably turnips. I've got some parsnips, I might have a weed for them. Yeah, there's only a few people up here. Just getting uh, I've got my I've got my my madness is coming back on the weekend. So Monday, good thank Ollie Monday. I think I'll be up and I'll put that white through this one. As you know, I weeded through all this the other day. I've had a shield because we've got a wind again. With this problem with this coast, how many windy? Oh, yeah. yeah, they're looking good. Look at this lot. Still got a ton of weeding to do. Carrots in the beds are coming through. Yeah. As you can see, guys, some of the leaks seem to be coming through. I might just have to do a bit of weeding through there. I need to get my polytunnel sorted out. I've allowed it to get weeds in there, and I want to uh, get ready to start to put my tomatoes in. Beetroot has got to go out. I'd love to. Very quiet up here, but it'll get cracking. Alright, guys, as you can see, my parsnips where I had some cats in that scrab so they're very hit and miss so I will put some more seeds in you've got as a row of turnips there and then it's supposed to be sweet on the outside but what I'm going to do is I'm going to in the between them two rows I'm going to put loads of uh, sweet seeds in and see if I can get raw sweets right I've got that far as hell of a job to do without pulling anything out, but we're cracking on. They all all want to know who these people are who, who were putting up for going going for sector. I think there's a there's an extra one now but throwing a hat into it but that didn't bother me, I don't care. I just want to see the site run properly. You know, I need to be kept in shape. I you I was used to be uh, it used to be religious up here. If the plot was a mess, it give you tons of time and to get off. You know, and there's people up here now that's not been up here two years. And, you know, so whoever take it on, they'll have my support anyhow, even if it's the old secretary. But I don't think I'll be voting. I mean, I'll probably still be in bed. <laughs> right, off we go. Right, guys. Ah, that's been hand weeded, pulled out by the roots. Both sides. That's took a long while. Uh, we were getting ready to pack up. My son's now coming down to have a cuppa. So I try and crack on with something else. But uh, as you can see, it is seriously hit and miss. It really is. So I'm going to try and germinate some more parsnips at home. Because uh, mum's here. This girl is the neediest thing of going. Look at the... Uh, as, I don't know where the lettuce have come from. There's three lettuces. And there's half a dozen turnips. But I need to get some sweets in because I, I need sweets. It's supposed to have heavy rain tomorrow, so hopefully my hands will pick up. Right, probably be quiet. I've moved my potatoes from in the greenhouse to outside. So they're there. I'm now going to give them a good water. I've got beetroot to go in the ground. But they need a good water, so I'm now going to water up. Right guys, that's a cup of coffee. My son's just got a job on the new bridge at Lowestoft up for nights. That's a rush job and they've uh, begged him 
So get over, over there and do some big pipe work, which is good. Right, so it's past up to about come down. I'm going to throw in a load of, and which one uh, germinates in Swede at home. But I'll quickly show on you because he's got to leave and go and finish a job. He's working days and all. Right, so as you see, we're cracking along. Hopefully, things will uh, tidy up. I'll just put you down here. No. See, I didn't want that to rattle too much because it then has a tendency to chop the ends off, tops off. Right, so everything on this side has been weeded through, except for that lot. That lot is looking good. Rain to mark. So guys, this will go up tonight. They're only a little clip. Stay safe, Olivia. Be happy. Be happy. It's better to be happy than to be miserable like some. Bye for now. All right, guys. Hopefully that's going to be dismantled now. Removed. As you can see, I'm now going to start. I want to try and have six of these in here. These are big boys. Possibly six, perhaps, no, just do four. Four along there, put one in that pot there. My peppers need, actually, they're coming along actually fantastic in these trays. They really are. And my bell peppers. These are self seeds, I believe. Them ones are all R and all. You know what you take out of shop bought ones. These are my beans. They are uh, Blue Lake. That's supposed to be a heavy quarter. Uh, climbing French beans, like a cuba. More tomatoes. Less need to go separated. I might transfer them into there just now. I've just been to the garden centre to get a load of uh, clover cotton compost from one of the guys down in Lotman. He wanted four bags. <laughs> Look at this. Well, so I just, this is how mad I've gone. <laughs> They're going to be even more mad when I come down to uh, picking the new secretary. God, the people are running around wondering who's it's going to be this and who's going to be that. Just let somebody do the job who can do it. Right. Even the old secretary, I wouldn't mind if he pulled his finger out. Right, here we go. There we go, these are white, white pumpkins, big white pumpkins. And uh, I just stuck a load I found in one of these trays and it's absolutely gone mad. So they will have to be separated. And I've done the same, the same with uh, orange ones, mammoths. So I don't play them now. And they've got one in here, look. I don't know, I, don't want, I think there's a cause yet, hopefully. Right, so I'm now gonna find trays for these to sit these in some water. And I'll show you when I've done anything. I will try and get some tomato plants in. In let's see, we mainly want the tomatoes what we use at home. And I put uh, possibly two cucumber plants in there in this big tub. Trail it up and trail it along. I was toying with removing that bench, but there's so much uh, junk has been waiting to be collected and taken away by people up here uh, at home that uh, I haven't had time. Right, I'll show you when I've got something done. Oh, look at the boots on there. Brilliant, brilliant. Right, that one's now going in. I've got three there to go in. That'll be tied. That shelf will possibly come up. I'll get them up as high as I can because they're a little bit higher. The tub's a bit higher than what I normally have when you've got a grow bag, there's only that in it and then that halo. So these are gonna sit higher, so they're gonna go to the roof. That one on the corner will probably be built, bent over a bit. I am not gonna worry about that. Here you guys. Tomatoes, I'll root out from, most plants actually root out, will root out from the sides. I believe it's possibly third wet, really waxy skin ones. Don't. I've already started to got uh, some fruit head on it. Last one in, get them in. Right here guys, I've got uh, 20 whites. These are the, the big white ones. There's a lot of here, which are just carcasses, but I think I'll find there'll probably be some starting to shoot, and if there is, I might just put, push them all into one pot, yeah. So there's 20, they're white giant pumpkins. And you seem to be a bit of a favorite now for Halloween with people. So they're now going to go outside, they'll be labelled up. And then I've got 
the orange big ones. And I need to put all that light in cling film because it's drying out so quick. Right, off we go. Right guys, there's most of them cling filmed up. Hopefully they'll, uh, it's, got, it's got really warm in here today, but tomorrow it's going to be cold. I'm now going to stick in the orange big pumpkins in there. And then I want to, to I'll do this now first, just looking a bit. I need a big, big pot, to stick it in a big pot. Right, let's go. Right guys, oh, there's so many blooming orange pumpkins there. There's 20 in that tray. There must be another 20 in that dish, so I'm going to have that. Give them out. I've got 20 whites there, plus some in there. I've just put some uh, la, 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 ox hearts. Oh, they are a raspberry ox heart. I'm going to possibly do that. And then do some more the other side. <sighs> Dear, it's warm. I haven't got a thermostat in here anymore, but that's plenty of warm. Right. That's broken, it's not good. Right. So as you can see, I'll let them get as much as I can, and then I might pop them on into pots. Coming along fantastic though. I've cling filmed all the tops of this to try and get a bit of germination going. I'm now going to uh <sighs> ah, lettuce. Big pot, right. Right, these are Lola Wasser lettuce. I do like them, I really do. The old girl say they're ready to put them and put in a salad. That's what she, that's the old what she know about growing, guys. That really is. But she's a big help to me. Down the allotment, that's fantastic. She must be such a good help to me because she went to open the gate up today and there was somebody there spying on her all the time. Nasty persons. Right. Now that's the person. Right, we need another pot. Less said about that, it's better. We keep everything on the legal side, it's always the best thing. Ah, right, will that do? That'll do. I've got loads of pots, but they're just all over the bloody place. Right, let's put this in half. There we go. I've got a bit of fresh compost in there. My wife made me laugh. She did. It's down there, me. She know jack shit about growing. She really don't. <laughs> she, she said to me, don't pull them out. Don't pull them out. They're, they're uh, vegetables. I said, no, they ain't. They're bloody weeds. Yeah, they got to laugh. Less Lola was. Right, they're done. I'm going to sit them in some water. I've got some basil sitting in some water down here. Alright guys, this will go up tonight. Stay safe everybody. I do waffle and I go off at things and all this lot and there is a theory in my madness and one day when I do decide to pack the whole lot of the allotment site up I'm going to have a very old uh, spill the beans as you can say. But my friend John is good. He's really good. Hopefully I'm hoping to pick him up perhaps in a couple of weeks time and take him down the allotment would be nice but I think at the moment he's uh, more worried about himself which is good right stay safe everybody don't forget make every all them miserable people happy and see you all later bye